Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. One UI 7 beta has been delayed again. The latest information coming out about it is that One UI 7's public beta has been delayed. On the flip side, AI notification has made it back to the internal update after a week or so without it. I guess Sammy will publish the public beta when they want to mature the AI features as stable as possible, but there's still more information. Uh, Tarun is saying that the One UI 7 beta should start rolling out by mid-December in phase one countries, US, Korea, and Germany. Now, what's interesting about this is that we, you know, when we get to that deadline, we're like, okay, it's supposed to be released in the next uh, week or next few days, it ends up obviously being delayed. This has happened a few times, and now that it's being pushed into potentially mid-December or even later, or maybe sooner, but probably mid-December or later, you're really looking at this, um, I think, at this point, I could be wrong, affecting the release date of the S25 phones. It might not, maybe they're just gonna end up releasing this basically with no beta or a really, really short beta period. And then when they release the, the full version, it'll be really the launch date of the Galaxy S25. But again, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer, which at this point, now we're at the very end of, Dece of November. So it's probably gonna be another 15 or so days before we are able to play with One UI 7 beta on our S24 phones. Remember, those will be the first phones that get it. If you wanted to know what the differences between the cameras are on the S25 Ultra versus the S24 Ultra, I've kind of multiple times show you what the cameras will be, but maybe you want to see side-by-side -side comparison of really what the differences are that we know so far, at least through from very strong rumors. Well, here we go. So first of all, with the main camera, the main camera is, and stop me uh, when you see the differences, exactly the same. I don't see any difference at all with the main camera, still 200 megapixel, and then all the other specs are exactly the same. Next would be the ultra wide. This does have a difference. 25 ultra will go from 12 megapixel to 50 megapixel, and you are gonna end up getting better quality video with that, obviously, in photos when you take ultra wide because there's more, uh, more resolution that can be built into that those photos and videos. Next up would be the telephoto. Telephoto, again, stop me when you see any differences because I still don't see any differences within that uh, telephoto camera, periscope camera, again, exactly the same, 50 megapixels. And then the front camera, still the same. So really the only difference is that ultra wide, which we've mentioned in the past, but I just wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison in case you were curious if there were any differences. I do think the photos will look different. They have, even though these cameras have been the same with some of their different phones, they, you know, they look different year over year because of a new algorithm they put into the camera software. The coloring's different. It will look different. I'm not, and I, I, would, I would expect it to also probably look better than the 24 Ultra as well, even though basically it's the same cameras. Let me know your thoughts on this. What is your favorite thing about the cameras on the Galaxy phones? Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.